Hello, we're going to make a video, and this video will show you how to do a basic installation of the PuTTY software program. PuTTY can be used to log in to a Linux machine from a Microsoft machine, and we'll demonstrate that very quickly at the end of the um, software installation. Okay, we're going to use Internet Explorer to install this. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to www.openssh.org. This is where I go to get PuTTY. Okay, at openssh.org, if I scroll down the page, I'm going to see a thing that says Alternatives, and I'm going to click on Windows. And up here at the top, it'll say PuTTY, so I'll click on PuTTY. And then what I want to do is I want to download up here on the top. It has the word download. I'm going to scroll down to about the middle of the page and I'm going to see um, a download where it says a Windows installer for everything except uh, putty.tel. And we're, that's what we're going to install. So go ahead and double or click that. And here it comes up. And now if you're using uh, Firefox or maybe some other browsers, you're not going to see this run button. You're going to have to save it and then run it from your uh, desktop machine but uh, I'm going to just click run since I have that option okay and then it comes up and tells me it wants to make a change that's fine on the welcome screen I'm just going to click next I'm just going to go with the default uh, and let it put it where um, it wants to put it and uh, there's going to be uh, in the start menu there's going to be something called putty a shortcut and I'm creating this so that all users can use it. Uh, and, I'm, and it's going to be a des uh, desktop icon for all the users. And um, that's all I want to really put there. So I'll click Next and then Install. And then Finish. Okay, and then there's some directions here you can read if you want. And we're going to go ahead and close the browser. And so what we're going to do is, uh, there's a, there is an icon up here, but we're going to actually go and click on all programs, uh, click on PuTTY, and then we're going to run PuTTY from here. I could have just clicked on the desktop, that would be fine too. And um, put a host name or an IP address, and I happen to know an IP address uh, that I'd like to go to, or not an, uh, a host name I should say. So I'm going to go to Rockhopper cc.lehigh.edu and um, and then I'm going to click open and I'm going to try that again I typed something wrong okay rockhopper.cc.lehigh.edu and it's SSH and hit open okay I, there I typed it correctly first time you go in you're going to see a um, screen that says uh, the server host key is not in the public keys not in your list of keys that's perfectly okay um, you click yes you won't see that message when you go in again unless this machines reloaded and um, I have an ID here called demo user and a password oh, wrong password type in the correct password and there you go it go, went ahead and gave me uh, logged me in and if I type exit that logs me out that's all there is to installing putty and doing a simple login into a uh, Linux machine. I hope this was informational and uh, thanks for listening.